Mounted by 38 PMF of Kwanga, Nasara State. Commanded by Force Number 2175 Popo, Sergeant Shuadip Godwin. Comprises of one brigler and six others. Ready for inspection. Please be upstanding. May the souls of our departed colleagues rest in peace. Amen. Take care, sir. Sir, on behalf of the officers and men of Nasara State Police Command, I heartily welcome you and your entourage to Nasara State. It is obvious that this is your maiden visit to the command since you assume duties as the Inspector General of Police. We are proud to be associated with your vision and enormous achievements since you took over the mantle of leadership of the force a few months ago. So recently, the Committee on Prevention and Management of Communal Crisis, which you initiated, were in the state to address the issues of communal crisis that have engulfed some parts of the state. The visit of the committee reflects your commitment and determination to end the lingering communal crisis in Nasara State and Nigeria. Today, sir, you have come to identify with the families of our departed colleagues who lost their lives in the service of their fatherland at Alakio in Lafia East local government area of Nasara State precisely on the 7th of May 2013 as well as those who we are declared missing in action at Goza some months ago and also some of our men who were injured during the recent attack by suspected militants along Akwanga Lafia Express Highway. Your visit, sir, to say the least, is an eloquent testimony of your fatherly concern about the welfare of officers and men of the Nigeria police and members of their families. We may not be able to enumerate all your giant strides towards the upliftment of the force, but our prayers are that the Almighty God, in His infinite mercy, will grant you wisdom, understanding, and strength to continue to pilot the affairs of the Nigeria Police Force. We also pray and hope that the authorities who entrusted you with the warrant task of shepherding the officers and men of the Nigeria Police will provide you with the necessary tools, freedom, and wherewithal to move the force forward. May the Almighty God grant you and your entourage a safe journey back to Abuja at the end of this engagement. Thank you and God bless. The families of our dear colleagues, the wives, the children, and other loved ones, have come to you today, to your domain in Nasarawa State, Condol those of you who lost their husbands and loved ones and breadwinners as a result of the incident that took place at Alakio on the 7th of May 2013. have also come to deeply sympathize with those of you 
who are wives and dependents of our dear colleagues who have remained missing since the unfortunate invasion of our Goza Mobile Training School on the 20th of August this year, 2014. Let me first and foremost convey once again our condolences. Let me emphasize that the death of every police officer is painful to us and particularly when they die in line of duty like your husbands to those whose husbands are still missing and I understand there are 14 of you here let me say that we are still paying and we are still hopeful and we have not stopped in the efforts to trust them wherever they are and that we will not relent until we are able to account for each and every one of them. This I want to assure you. The purpose of this visit, apart from the condolences and the sympathy that I carry with me along with my colleagues, senior officers from the headquarters, and of course, that of all police officers and members of the public who sympathize with us, particularly at this season, I have also come to emphasize with you to show how much we still care about you and about your welfare even as we continue to make sure that you get all your rights as processed by government. But ahead of that today, and in line with the season, this is a season of caring, this is a season of sharing, I have decided to also extend that to you. indicate to you that we will not forget you when it matters. In fact, we will not forget you at all. And we share the pains of each and every one of you. I have today come with very little seasonal gift to each family. To each family I will give 20 tubers of yam, a bag of rice, and vegetable oil. I will also have a little gift of cash, which I will hand over to each one of you. All together, I have before me 90, 98 families here, combined with the Alakio and those who are still missing in Goza. Others or other families affected by the incident of Goza have been identified to be in Abuja and other places 
and similar gesture will be extended to them. But to the families of those who got missing in Goza, I also have other entitlements that have come with. From the police road fund, each family will get 200,000 Naira. And from the police insurance scheme, each family will also get additional 200,000 Naira. And from the office of the Inspector General of Police, there is a donation of 100,000 Naira each. So to each of those 14 families whose husbands are still missing, and we are hoping that they are still alive and we will locate them, you will get 500,000 Naira each today, in addition to the gifts that I have brought with me. Please join me in thanking our Creator, the Almighty God, who has not only kept you alive, but has kept you in good health. And join me in praying that all of His mercies will be extended to you, including that of keeping you, taking care of these children that I'm seeing, including the grandchildren and great-grandchildren that will come out of these families, as well as in locating those who are still missing. Finally, I want to thank every Nigerian who has sympathized with the Nigeria police at the time of our grief. I also want to thank the federal government, in particular His Excellency Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, the president who has shown a lot of concern for the welfare of policemen, not only the welfare of what we eat and what we drink or where we sleep, but also the welfare of equipment, facilities to do our work. I thank you very much. And please accept my condolences and deep sympathy. Thank you. the 200,000 Naira for police road fund and also the 100,000 Naira from the office of the IGP. Total 500,000 Naira each to each of the families of those who are still missing in Goza. They will also take uh, a seasonal gift that I have come with. Madam, we are with you. We will continue to do our best. So get the daddy of this baby.
Yes, uh, sir, after this, Rose, your hand is they are yeah, making passionate appeal for scholarship. And uh, those of them who may be in the barrack, uh, they need to be given the need of uh, time for them to stay for a while before they are doing it after them. Let me, first and foremost, once again, convey my condolences to the families of those who lost their lives. Uh, as a result of the Alakio incident that took place on the 7th of uh, May 2013 and also sympathize with the families of those who are still missing. About 14 of them were here this uh, morning and they, they took part in the activities uh, we witnessed. Um, I sympathize with them deeply and I also assure them that we will continue to uh, sustain the searches until we are able to trace uh, their loved ones and our colleagues. Um, I have done this in a very symbolic manner to show that the welfare of our personnel is uppermost in our activities and in my leadership. I also want to say that I have listened to their requests and they are not too much to do for me. First and foremost, we are not sending them out of their, where they are staying now. In fact, we make every effort to see that we get alternatives for them where possible. I also want to say that Whatever is due to them, just like I have brought also some today, we'll also make sure that uh, we give to them. And we do that on time. On the issue of scholarship for the children of those who died in particular, let me say that I'm already in touch with some of the institutions, like the Turkish school have made offers to me the Turkish University they have made offer to me and we will extend it to some of these families. We will also continue to get in touch with donor agencies and similar institutions to see how best they can assist them. The fact that we came today in this season is an indication that they are deep in our heart and we sleep and wake up with their problems and their pains. And that will do everything possible to question them. Okay, uh, IGP, sir, uh, what is the security I command doing to bring uh, these murderers uh, to book? Well, um, you know, this incident took place over a year ago. It's one of the unfortunate incidents that uh, affected the Nigeria police in recent years. Investigations were conducted, and I assure you, 
the findings, including that of the panel set up by the state government, will be implemented appropriately. Aju, sir, um, your predecessor visited only a few days after the incident in Alajo. Uh, he visited last year where he promised that uh, where the force was uh, initiating a negotiation with um, leaders of that community, Alajo, to secure the freedom of our. Uh, uh, a few more policemen and officers who were still held. Uh, it, it, it all turned out that uh, they were dead at the time he was, he was uh, making this announcement. Uh, however, that is that was the last we ever heard from the police. It's a year, getting to two years now after I like you. Is it to say that the police have long, long forgotten about that incident? Well, my coming here answers your question. I am only a few months old, and you know I'm coming at a time when the police is faced with numerous challenges, in particular preparing for the 2015 elections. But even at the height of that, I still found time to come, which is an indication that they are not forgotten. And let me assure you, even my successors, whom I believe are professional police officers, will not forget them. Sir, Thank you. Me, sir, um, 